ignore this here. This is, this is mom life. No girl, stop snapping. I know they're cute. I hey guys, it's Ashley. Today's video is going to be about my top 10 purchase regrets as a new time mama. Things that I thought that I would need that I quickly found out that I do not need. Things that I saw other people have and I thought, man, that's a great idea. I need that too. And then quickly realized it was a bad idea or that I didn't even need it at all. So pretty much I wasted my money so you don't have to. Here's my top 10 things. We're going to jump right into it. Number one diaper bag. This huge diaper bag here. See how big this is? Okay. This bag here unzips. I'm not going to unzip it, but the back unzips and it folds out into this big changing table situation. Huge diaper bag. Heavy. I don't use it. I've used it once or twice. I've not used the, the changing table function of it. I quickly realized after taking it to the store one or two times that I wasted my money. One day I might use it when he gets older or if I like go on some sort of big trip. If you go on trips or you're gone for days at a time or you're going to bottle feed or you like to go on picnics, you might like this. This might be what you want. But for me, I'm breastfeeding. I'm not carrying around bottles. I'm not carrying around formula. I'm not carrying any of that around. So for me, the only thing I need is diapers, wipes, and an outfit. That's it. When I go out to the store, I feed him before I leave anyway. Um, I, I don't need anything. Like if I have to feed him out in public, I go to the back seat of the car and put him on my boob, feed him, and burp him and change him and do all that stuff in the backseat of the car. If I'm in a store and he's hungry, which has happened to me one time, I throw a blanket over me and I walk around the store while my husband pushes the buggy and I feed him. I don't need, I don't need this. This, this is my first regret, my number one regret. I wish I would have never gotten a huge thing like that. What I use instead, you're probably thinking, okay, well, you still got to carry around diapers. You still got to carry around wipes. You're right. You are correct. My purse. I've got in here, I've got diapers. I've got wipes. I've got Passy. I've got this little thing, a trash bag, hickey doos you put the dirty diaper in. I've got everything in here that I need, plus my wallet and my other things, I don't need to carry around two bags. I just shove everything in a big purse. All you need, if you're if you're breastfeeding, all you need is a big purse. You probably already got one. Shove some diapers and wipes in there, throw a passy in it. You're good, you're golden. Honey, you don't need a big bag. You don't need a diaper bag. Number one regret right there, diaper bag. Number two, bassinet. I quickly realized that having a bassinet at bedside, having to get out of bed to, to get him out of the bassinet, or like having to hunch over and like do this sort of acrobatic thing to try to get him out of his bassinet because the bassinet's lower than the bed and if I make it higher than the bed then I have to stand up to get him up out of it and it's just a pain in the butt. So bassinet is my number two regret. The thing I wish I would have done or wish I would have bought, they make these things that's like a playpen that the side comes down and it's like a co-sleeper and it attaches to your bed and it's the same height as your bed. So all you have to do is slide them over to you, slide them back over to the, the co-sleeper. Um, but they're like $150. That's like $40 more than the bassinet that I paid for at Walmart. So I wish I would have spent the extra $40 to get that, but since I did not do that, my husband ended up making a co-sleeper that goes to the side of our bed and it's like the greatest thing, the best thing ever. Wish we would have done that at the very beginning. It would have saved us a whole lot of headache and a whole lot of 
getting out of bed in the middle of the night, it just would have saved a lot of time. Plus, Connor loves to be able to see us while he's sleeping. And he would start freaking out when we would put him in his bassinet and it's only because he could not see us or he couldn't like sense us near him. I'd have to slide down to the end of the bed and put my arm in his bassinet and hold his hand so that he knew that I was there so he would fall asleep. And that's the only way I could get him to fall asleep some nights. Some nights that's literally my saving grace and the only thing that I could do. Now that I have him attached to the side of our bed as in this co-sleeper situation that my husband made, he goes to sleep so much better because he can see us. He knows we're there. He doesn't worry about where's mom and dad. Am I by myself? Well, he loves being able to see us. Co-sleeping's not for everyone. It was for us. So that bassinet, we got like two months use out of it. That's it. That was not worth my money, I don't feel like. I feel like that my money could have been spent better just buying the supplies for my husband to build what he made. We're probably going to use that for another three months. So to me, the bassinet was a waste of money. Number three, this one is going to be one of those items where people are going to go, oh my gosh, I know you did not just put that on your video. So number three, yep, that's right. This is in my mommy regrets. This is the nose Frida. Guess how many times I have used this. So with my diaper bag, I did use it twice, okay? With my bassinet, I used it for two months. Nose Frida. I haven't used it ever. Not one time, not one single time. You know how much this was? $15. $15 for something that I have not even used once. You know what I use instead? This little thing, bulb syringe. There is nothing wrong with using this. Nothing wrong with using this. As a matter of fact, I prefer this. Just do this, stick it to their nose, hold one side, let it go. Sucks out everything you need it to suck out. Doesn't do it the first time, do it again. Easy, easy peasy. And it's only a couple bucks. And as a matter of fact, you get one free when you go to the hospital. When you come home from the hospital, you have one already. So it was free. This, this thing, $15 for something I've never used, not one single time, never. And it's like, this isn't something that you can even use by yourself. So if it was an emergency, what are you gonna do? You have to have this to your mouth and this to the baby. That's two hands. How are you going to hold the baby still? How are you going to plug one side of their nose? This was $15. I've not used it once. You love it, you love it. I'm going to tell you right now, if you ain't got a lot of money, don't waste your money. Now, this is my zero to three months. Six, seven months, I might tell you it was a lifesaver for my child. But at this point in time, big regret. Big regret, not used it, not one single time. Am I gonna keep it? Yes, it was $15. Am I gonna use it? I can't say that for sure. Subscribe and um, we'll find out if I actually use it. Number four, okay, so I'm breastfeeding. In the beginning, you leak so much. Like, not everybody, everybody doesn't leak. But in the beginning, you have like this waterwork situation going on in your bra. And some days it is hard to like keep that waterwork situation at bay. Like you, you can't even find anything to dam up the flow. It is so much sometimes. My number four regret, breast pads. Breast pads. See how many I bought? These all came from Amazon in one package deal. I think it was like $12 or something. Um, but look how big these are. See how thick that is? And it's soft and it's made out of bamboo and everyone's like, oh, they're so amazing. They're so amazing. They're so, oh. Waste, waste of money. These things, they get soaked. I found that I had to change, I bought like, there's like five sets here, okay? So I thought, okay, I'll have one for every day of the week. And then on the sixth, on the fifth day, I'll wash them and I'll just keep alternating them out like that. Honey, no, 
three times a day. Yeah, I was changing these suckers because they would stay soaking wet. I mean, you would barely get wet sometimes. And it would feel like I had like this big, huge, wet glob on my boob. And I'm like, it was irritating. It does not absorb. It's like taking a wet washcloth and just holding it to the area for like hours and then you switch it out and then it's like holding another wet washcloth to the area like it goes on dry and it's comfortable when it first goes on but after it starts getting just a little bit of fluid in it it doesn't like soak in and absorb it just holds it there and keeps it from coming out of your bra and onto your shirt so to me this this was a big regret I know a lot of people are going to be upset because I like these. These came from Walmart. I'll link them down below. I'll show you a picture um, what the box looks like that they came in. I think they're the, the Lansano or whatever brand that is. It's the brand that's like purple. The colors of it is purple. I'll show you the box up here. Anyway, these absorb the liquid. It wicks the liquid away from your breast so they stay dry all day and you don't have this wet mess sitting in your bra on top of your skin. Definitely more comfortable and less noticeable than this. This pad right here, you can see the ring, this ring around through your bra through your clothes. This, you can't see a thing. It's just natural looking. Number five, one of these pump bras with the little holes in it like this. Big waste of money. My baby nurses. So I pop the thing down, I let him nurse. I pop the thing back up. Then I get him settled and comfortable. Then I have to take off my nursing bra to put this on. And then I have to take this off to put my nursing bra back on because these are two awkward holes where your nipples are just hanging out there. And the only reason to put this on is to be hands-free. But I'd rather sit there and hold them to my breasts than have to go fiddle with this and fight with this and put it on just to take it right back off in 15 minutes. Big waste, big regret. So what I do, instead of doing that, instead of spending $30, $40, how much ever that thing was, instead of spending all your money, hard-earned money, on something that you're going to regret, buy a bunch of nursing bras. The next clip I show you is going to be how to use your normal nursing bra to secure your pump in there so that you can use the same nursing bra you use all day to also pump and it will hold it there and you can be hands-free most amazing thing i ever discovered in my life roll the clip so this is your normal nursing bra and to typically use it you just pop it down feed your baby pop it back up that easy but if you want to use it with your pump to be hands-free all you do is pop it down put this in the opposite side of your strap Pull it all the way over to your nipple. Then you take the underside, pull it up, and snap it in place. It's that easy. And, and then you don't have to spend all of that money on a hands-free pumping bra. It's that easy. Then when you're finished, all you do is unstrap it, take it out, and strap it back on. All right, number six. Now I don't have anything here to show you number six. It is clothes with buttons. Any sort of newborn clothes, zero to three months clothes, anything that has buttons. In the middle of the night, the last thing you wanna do is fiddle with some buttons. When you're in a hurry and you're trying to change his diaper and he spit up everywhere and you're trying to change his clothes and you're trying to do this and you're trying to do that and you're trying to get him, no, no buttons. You don't have time to go through 10 buttons and snap, 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 snap snap do you know how long that takes you know how much time out of your day it takes to just snap 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 no girl stop snapping 
I know they're cute. I know the clothes are cute. I know they're tempting to buy. But you spend, I don't know, I don't even know how many hours in a week that you spend just snapping their clothes on and off and on and off. Just, just don't. Don't do it. Get a zipper. Get something with a zipper. Get something with, they even got those magnetic closure things. Those look so cool. Now they're expensive, which is why I don't have any. But if you got the money, girl, I'll get you some of the magnetic ones. They look cool. You just whoop, whoop, get it done. But yeah, I can't afford that. But anyway, get something with a zipper. If you can't afford the little magnetic closure hickey do, which I couldn't, um, zip, 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 done. You ain't got a snap for 10 minutes trying to get that baby in their clothes and then you miss a snap and you have to unsnap the whole thing and you have like a little mental breakdown in the in the process of it because you've missed a snap and now you gotta unsnap everything and now you gotta snap it all back in and he's freaking out or she's freaking out and you're still snapping away no girl no <clears throat> don't do it just just don't do it i know the outfits are cute i know it's gonna look cute in a picture but don't do it. Just get the zipper. And if you do do it, get, get one or two for like little cutesy pictures and then be done with it. Because you are going to regret it. Trust me, girl. Trust me. Number seven, baby shoes. My baby is three months old. He has worse shoes probably four times out of those three months. And it was for a picture. Every time it was for a picture. Because just as we walk out the door, I take the shoe off of him because I know it's going to fall off before we even get to the car. So, shoes. Buying lots of shoes. That is a regret. Number eight. Stiff swaddle blankets. These right here. See, they don't really... That doesn't give. It doesn't... Like, you hear that? Yeah, that... That doesn't give, it doesn't stretch. There's like fuzzies going everywhere from this thing. That's that's how much I've used this. That's like already got dust on it because I've not used it, but like once or twice, okay? So look how small this is. You can swaddle your baby in these like, I don't know, for a week. And then once they get bigger, you can't swaddle them in this anymore because it comes untucked here and you can't tuck it back over here anymore. And you try to flip it up on their legs and they, whoop, they've kicked it out, out the bottom, their feet go. No, this, these are a waste. The only thing I used these for after the first week for was to put down on a surface for him to lay on so that he could go to sleep. So that if he spit up, I could just throw this in the washing machine. That's a big waste of money. After the first week, you can't swaddle them in this anymore because it does not stretch and it's not big enough. And I bought all kinds of these. Big waste of money. Number nine, changing table. Girl, you don't need a changing table. Do you know how many times I use my changing table? I use it a little bit more now that he's older, okay. But instead of getting a changing table that is specifically for, like, changing them and it has, like, all the little shelves and you can put stuff like in the shelves and it's all open so you can't hide anything big waste of money get you one of those dressers instead one of them small dressers that aren't really really tall the ones that are about waist height use that instead just put a changing pad on it and change your baby on that and then it's multifunctional and then you can use it as they get older don't need a changing table you just don't number 10 is a crib. My baby has been in his crib maybe five times and honestly with the things that I'm researching now I'm a first time mom I didn't know about the whole Montessori monastery I can't even pronounce it I didn't even know about the whole bed on a floor thing and how you can promote independence with your baby by letting them sleep on the floor so that they can ju just crawl out of their bed and play around in their room. I didn't know there was a such thing. I always seen people get cribs. I didn't know about the whole bed floor thing, floor in a bed for a baby. I knew nothing about that. All I knew was nurseries and how everyone has a nursery and how beautiful the room looks and how cute a crib makes the room look. And it's my number 10 regret. 
I wish that I would have not purchased a crib. He's not slept in his crib. And we're probably going to co-sleep till he's at least six months old. Maybe beyond that, I'm not 100% sure. And then when he's able to go in his own room, I'm not sure that we're going to do a crib. So buying him a crib already, I feel like was, was a waste of money. All right, guys, that was my top 10 mom regrets for a first time mom. I hope that you liked this video. Hit the like button down below if you've also bought something that you quickly regretted after purchasing it and let me know what it is. Comment down below and let me know what your regrets are. I would really like to read them. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.